and we're live. I've got another video. This is going to be a quick one. I've been working on a project that uses OpenAI's Whisper API, which gets you uh, speech to text. And then I've been using the uh, Chad GPT, specifically the Turbo 3.5 model, and using in-context learning in order to create calendar events from speech. So let me just show you how this works here. So I'm gonna run my program and I'm going to talk to my computer and tell it uh, a couple different calendar events that I want. So here we go. Hit. Today is March 8th, 2023. This Friday, I plan on meditating for two hours at noon. And then on Saturday, I want to work out at 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. All right, so you see here, uh, it transcribed it. So this is the transcript. And then it went ahead and it created a uh, ICS file. So I can go ahead and import that ICS file into my calendar. So if I go into this Google Calendar and I now hit uh, add and then import and then I import that ICS file that I just created using speech to text and then uh, in context learning I can import look at this I now have my meditation from 12 to 2 p.m. and my workout from 2 to 4, 4 p.m. which is pretty crazy so how did I actually do this so uh, this code is uh, inside a repo, which I named uh, CalGPT. You can find this on my GitHub, uh, Hupo. Links, of course, in the description of this video, but also all over my uh, YouTube and Twitter and so on. But basically, there's a couple different components here. You got uh, the sound device library. You got the iCalendar library. Uh, you, of course, have OpenAI for Whisper and for uh, GPT. So... First thing we're going to do is we're using the Ike, or sound device library in order to record in Python. This isn't necessarily optimal. There's a lot better uh, tools and methods to record directly. And one hot tip that I discovered is that OpenAI's Whisper actually works equally well with a very low sampling frequency and with only one audio channel. So you don't need a 44 kilohertz sampling frequency and two audio channels in order to get good speech to text. You can actually use a very low sampling frequency and only a single channel. Uh, so we're recording, we create this temporary file, then we go ahead and we send that file uh, with, let me actually increase the size here a little bit so you guys can see a little better. I'm going to close out of this, scroll down. Uh, here we go. So we transcribe it with the openai.audio.transcribe. That gives us the text, right? And then we go ahead and we feed that text into this function that we've called text to calendar here. And what we're doing here specifically is called in context learning, which is where you basically create a context that gets sent to ChatGPT such that you're teaching the model a kind of uh, a problem, right? A, a kind of a simple pattern that it's going to mimic. So it's almost like a form of supervised learning, right? So the pattern that I'm teaching uh, ChatGPT is that I have some natural language description of a calendar event, such as I want to go to the dentist on March 8th, 2023 from 9 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And then I've created basically the supervised learning target, right? Or the answer is going to be dentist, comma, a date time call. Date time is a Python library for uh, time and calendars. And then another date time call for the end. So I created three of these examples, right? Like almost like a supervised uh, learning training data set. And I tried to have a little bit of variation with 15 minutes, a little bit of variation in the ordering of the, of the text and so on but I, I have a very consistent pattern here in terms of like what I actually want the answer to be. So I go ahead and I basically feed these into a context type format that ChatGPT expects where you're telling it, okay, this is what the user's saying, this is what the assistant is saying. And then I go ahead and I put in the text as if it was the fourth example. 
and ChatGPT will complete that for me. And that completion, I basically just kind of strip out the text and the start and the end time, and then create a .ics file. .ics is an iCalendar file, which you could import into either your Apple Calendar or your Google Calendar. And there you go. That's, that's a quick uh, summary of how you could use uh, the OpenAI API to create all kinds of new and interesting functionality. In this case, creating calendar events from a natural uh, language speech of you just talking to your computer. Uh, that's it. Like and subscribe, of course, if you're interested in these kind of like quick breakdowns as opposed to kind of the longer video formats, definitely let me know. And if not, you guys have a great day. Have fun hacking.